I'm sitting here with Professor Dennis Noble, who's uh, written some marvelous books um, about evolution and, and the story since Darwin's great uh, theories emerged on us. But today, Dennis, there's an enormous debate re-evaluating some of these theories. That's right. And uh, I know that you're centrally involved in this. Yes. Would you, would you share, us, share with us the sort of key points? Yes, I points? think it's rather, it's rather exciting, Paul, because, you know, the, these, these developments in science don't come every year. Mm, <laughs> they, indeed. Uh, and this one has been building up for some time. About three years ago, I worked with around 100 other leading scientists all over the world to form a group called the Third Way of Evolution. There's a website, and you can see them all there. They're all distinguished scientists, mm -hmm. one kind or another. Mm -hmm. And they all come together on one particular issue, <coughs> which is they disagree with the standard neo-Darwinist view of evolution. Now, for people who are listening to this, the best way to find out what neo-Darwinism is is to read uh, a fantastic book mm. <laughs> called The Selfish Gene by yes. Richard Dawkins, yes. because he explains it beautifully. Mm. He simply says there's random variation in our genes as we pass our genes on to the next generation, and then there's natural selection, and that's it. Finish. Well, there are so many other mechanisms that mm. are involved mm. in the process. I mean, by any stretch of the imagination, it cannot be that we think that that's the fundamental you have to say to people. I don't even think, actually, that those two processes, the random variation and the natural selection, are properly described anyway. Mm. I think the random variation is used by the organism. Ah. So, I mean, it'd be quite obvious that 150 years after Darwin, there would be new discoveries, new tools to look at these... Uh, yes, uh, very so much so. you'd expect change. You do, and you, of course. And adaption. So why yes. are there people still defending the old theories? Well, I'll try to answer that with just a little detour, because mm. I want to make a, a very important point on one of the central breaks with the standard theory, mm. Darwin would be very pleased. He puzzled about something. Mm -hmm. He wondered how could it be that changes in the body could affect the germline, that is the cells that convey the um, information to the next generation. Yes. If there is any inheritance of acquired characteristics on which he agreed with Lamarck, mm. then there has to be some way in which information from one's heart, one's lungs, one's yes. liver and so yes. on gets down to the germline. Now we yes. found them. They're called microsomes or exosomes. Yes. They're terribly tiny particles that are packed with RNAs mm. which control the genome they go to the germline. Mm. What did Darwin say? He invented that idea. Fantastic. In one of his books, after the origin of species, mm. about 15 years afterwards, mm. he called them mm. gemules. What he meant was a particle that is beyond the resolution of the light microscope. Mm. What are exosomes? These vesicles, they're beyond the resolution mm. of the light microscope. Mm. So there's a huge amount of change going on. Mm. And Darwin, I think, would be pleased. But what, what going back to the question, what, yes. is, what is it that uh, the, the sort of Darwinists, what, would they, what, what are they defending yes. Yes. Of, 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 of the bit that uh, he wouldn't be pleased with? Well, <laughs> is there nothing that he wouldn't be pleased with? In terms of the um, new, yes, new I, I think he'd be, he would be pleased with them emphasizing the role of natural selection, yes, yes. because that was his great idea. Yes, yes absolutely so. Yes, yes. That, that's okay. Yes. And indeed, I'm not arguing that the natural selection, the random variation do not occur. Mm. I'm just simply saying, together with many other scientists mm. now, that there are many other processes right. that interact with those two. That's it in a nutshell. But what are the opponents arguing? Are they, are they saying that They've this, gone, this dilutes the theory to much. Are they trying to hold on to a theory? Yes, they are. But you see, for five or ten years, they tried to pour boiling oil over me and, and others. They stopped. And there's a very, very specific reason why they stopped. They overreached themselves to mm -hmm. try to stop a major mm -hmm. meeting. Mm -hmm. They failed to do mm -hmm. so. Mm -hmm. And after that, mm -hmm. they have no longer criticized mm -hmm. 
the Why does Richard plane. Dawkins stand on all this? Has he, he says, has he, has well, he has he adapted yes, his own he's been theory? asked that yes. by um, uh, an interview like this yes. with a great big television company. Right. What they said was, what do you think of Dennis Noble's ideas, you mm. see? He said, well, Dennis Noble is a great scientist. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, we must, we must teach the fundamentals first. Mm. I'm quoting from mm. the interview. Mm. He doesn't budge at all. Mm. I like him. I, I have a great yeah. personal relationship yeah. with yeah. him. Yeah. I chair debates that he is involved in and mm. so on. Um, but I, I don't understand why he can't see that so much has happened mm. since the near It sounds, to, it sounds yes. as if you've managed to um, take the, the... I think we've got the initiative. You, yeah, you've, yes. you've got the initiative and you've got exactly the body of so. science following you and you've got this wonderful idea of stochasticity. Exactly so. As, as your principle. As being harnessed, exactly. Yes. That's right. Say a word on that and then we make Well, just back. very briefly, I think that's the origin of our creativity. Mm -hmm. We use, and all organisms, use stochasticity for it to be the case that we are not automata. Mm -hmm. We are not determined. Mm -hmm. That's it in a nutshell. And there are many mechanisms that, that ensure us that. To deliver that. Precisely yeah. so. Yes. Well, thank you very much, Dennis, for sharing these thoughts. Delighted. Thank you.